Hi, this is George coming to you from Nautilus Mission Control at the Inner Space Center in Rhode Island. The first leg of the 2012 expedition brings Nautilus back to the Black Sea to look for interesting geological and archaeological targets. This is the science behind that region. About 18,000 years ago, the Black Sea wasn't a sea at all. It was a freshwater lake, about 150 meters shallower than it is today. Then a large amount of salt water from the Mediterranean flowed into that lake. Now since salt water is denser than fresh, it sank and created distinct layers within the Black Sea, much like this layer cake. The top layer is lightly salted and floats above the much denser, much saltier bottom layer. Now because of the difference in densities, these layers do not mix. And over time, all of the oxygen that was in that bottom layer got used up and was never refreshed because those layers don't mix, making the bottom layer anoxic or oxygen free. So the anoxia down there means that most regular life forms cannot survive, and that includes life forms that eat wood in ancient shipwrecks. So most of the wrecks that we find in or near this lower layer tend to be very well preserved, all thanks to the anoxic conditions of the Black Sea. Well, we hope you enjoyed this peek behind the science. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and be sure to join the expedition live right here at nautiluslive.org.